Hi everyone, PowerDrill AI allows you to analyze your data sets. So first of all, you can upload CSV, TSV or Excel files here, or you can connect PowerDrill AI to SQL databases. And now it's going to analyze them and it's going to give you these kind of graphs. And the best thing about it is that you will be able to download all of this information as a PDF, as a Word document, however you like it, as a markdown. And then there are a few important features here. So first of all, yes, PowerDrill can help you to analyze multi-tab spreadsheets. And also PowerDrill follows the GDPR, which means that your data is secure, is safe. It's not going to be opened, viewed, used by anyone. It's not even going to be used by PowerDrill for learning purposes, right? For training purposes, essentially. So it's very, very secure and I would definitely recommend trying this out. Now, let me log in and I'll show you how it works. So this is what we get when we log in into PowerDrill. Now, PowerDrill is really, really good for analyzing papers and also for extracting information from data sets. So if this is what you want to use AI for reading papers and extracting data, then I would definitely recommend PowerDrill. Now, let's just jump into data sets because this is what I want to focus on today. There is one data set here, an Excel spreadsheet that I uploaded previously um, for this video. Then I can have any databases here that people shared with me. I have none. And then we have public data sets. And these data sets are here uh, purely for purposes of training so that you can practice, you can check how it works. And we have CSV, CSV, and SQL database, and another CSV file. I'll just use this one and I go to chat and I can start asking questions about this database, right? So this is 120 years of Olympic history, athletes and results. Also, I have some questions here suggested by PowerDrill that can get me started. But what is really, really cool is this check the data fact better. And this is a complete game changer. Just check this out. Look, within a matter of split seconds, or maybe even a half a second, it created this document. And so information about this data set, it contains over 271,000 records. These are the columns here in the data set. And it just basically summarizes all the information. So we have, you know, people from China, Denmark, Netherlands, basketball, judo, the ages of these athletes range from 21 to 34 years old. So this is a high level overview, right? Which is really, really useful. We have some average age as well. So about 25 and a half years, uh, standard deviation is six years. This is the height from 127 centimeters to 226 centimeters and weights from 25 kilograms to 214. Wow. Wow. I don't know, 25 kg or 214 kg. Wow. Um, but look, then it just also came up with these questions based on the database, right? So what is the average age of athletes? How does the average height and weight of athletes vary between different sports? What is the distribution of medals across different countries? and so on. Lots of questions here. I can jump into them, but I'll just scroll through, through them one by one. And it creates these figures here, which you can download easily, but also look at the top. You can download the whole file as a word, as a markdown or as a PDF, right? That works very, very nicely. There are some key observations, detailed, detailed analysis, sports specific trends, conclusions. And then we have the next question. And again, you have all of this, and this is the medal distribution across different countries. So we start here from Afghanistan, and this is Vietnam. And basically by zooming in, I can find more countries here, right? So we have Czech Republic, now Finland, more, more countries are suddenly visible. So this is how you can use this here. But also, this is not the only way you can look at it. I can change this into a pie chart, a donut, a table, an area or line charts. So this is what the table would look like, right? And we have well, rows per page 10, I can choose more. And I have 149 entries. I can change this, for example, into a pie chart. 
so there you go this is what it looks like it's quite complicated so you can view this information in lots of different ways and this is what is super super useful here and then you know we go into the next question and again a figure a full analysis lots and lots of information so i'm just going to quickly scroll through this just to show you what it looks like and that you know it also generates images like this so it's showing me the outliers and the height and weight of athletes and how they, do they compare to the overall distribution so there are some outliers here in red this is for height this is for weight so lots of really useful information here the mean height the outliers the mean weight again the outliers here um, and then in the end we have a quick conclusion and again you can download this or you can take this straight away to notion or google docs so it's really really useful and this is just the sample database that they have here but if i go back to the data sets i have my own here which is about electric audi cars in the us right so this is a small file as you can see i just uploaded it an hour and a half ago and if I go to chat, I can start asking questions. So, for example, I can ask a very simple question. So, where do you find the largest number of Audi cars in the US? There you go. The cool thing here is that it gave me what it thinks I was trying to say. Okay, analyze the state column to find the state with the largest number of Audi cars in the US. So this is so cool. It gave me the code in Python. I can copy the code. It analyzes the, um, the result and it's showing me that this is the count. This is the code for the Washington state. And then it's giving me the ultimate conclusion, which is Washington state with nearly 4,000 Audi cars and there's an explanation as well. So this is a really nice explanation of what is going on here. And again, I have that check data fact available as well. So I'll hit that. And again, within a matter of a split second, it's created all of this information, analyzed all of this data. It again has 10 questions here, but it's trying to answer and I have Again, figures, key observations, detailed analysis, visual insights, and recommendations for future analysis. And this is just based on one question. And then I have the next question. And again, the same amount of information. So I would absolutely recommend using PowerDrill for data set analysis. And now let me show you pricing and how it works. I use the free plan, and this comes with five megabytes of total data set size. So the database I used was actually 40 megabytes initially in size, but it's because it contained all of the electric cars in the US. So I trimmed it down to Audi only. And this is how I, you know, I cut it down to just two or three megabytes. And this is what I used. But, you know, if you need more than that, you can get 10, megabyte, 10 megabytes of total data set size for $3.90. You need more than that, then it's 30 megabytes for $9.90. So all in all, it is very affordable and it's worth considering. And I provide a link in the description down below and in the comments, but if you use, I'll get a small commission. And then following from here, if your data set is actually quite small, but you want to use AI for more than just reading papers or extracting data from data sets, but I would recommend to you AvidNote. Let me show you. So this is avidnotes.com. And the beauty of AvidNote is this is just a massive AI toolbox with so many options for reading, writing, analyzing data, and so on, creating presentations. So I'll just jump straight away to the AI research toolbox to just give you an idea of what is going on here. You have AI tools for research, transcription, for coding, and you have the AI chat here as well. And let's just jump into research straight away. and. Just so many options here, analyzing interview, analyzing data, suggesting survey questions, interview questions. What else do we have? 
publishing right so future ideas for new studies future research such as the title a twitter thread and so on proofreading explaining what's the opposite view so there are lots and lots of options here this is all for writing this is all for generating methods so i'll definitely consider this if you need more than just analyzing data sets but this is the option for data sets here with an avid node and it is well much smaller than what you have with power drill but nevertheless it is pretty useful but it only comes up to 10,000 words so you have to copy your data set up to 10,000 words here and then it will analyze it for you. you can also ask some questions so i am going to copy paste here the winning numbers from the powerball so these are all the winning numbers here and i'm just gonna ask a question based on the string of numbers what would be the next one right what would be the next winning number generate text there you go so we've got some insights here and the most frequent number in the data set is number 18 appears 26 times okay the least frequent number is number 12 appears only five times and numbers 18 24 32 45 and 54 appear most frequently in the data set and these are the ones that appear the least frequency and there are no consecutive numbers if in any of the winning sets Ha. Huh. okay so what will be the next one since there is no given a string of numbers it is not possible to determine what the next number would be oh that sucks but anyway we do have these numbers here right anyway so if you use this and you win some money then please like the video if you don't win any money then click the dislike button twice um and let me show you the pricing you have a free plan which is fairly generous it will generate up to 5000 ai generated words and you can use all of the ai tools and then for 19 dollars a month you can have 100,000 ai generated words a month which to be honest is loads and i actually have a 40 percent discount for avid note which would bring this down to about 11 dollars a month which is much more affordable and i leave a discount in the description down below and in the comments so if you want to use the avid note you can use it and you can enjoy it for a little bit less and well this is it for today if you benefit from this please consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next one